Hey, this is Mike from uh, Stump Grinding by Mike here. Um, common question that I see on Facebook around stump grinding is a trailer setup. Turn the camera around here. And uh, I like uh, enclosed trailers just so I can carry all my stuff with me, my saws and all my tools and whatnot. And I basically can just hook up and go. So this trailer is brand new. I just picked this up uh, beginning of the year. Uh, brought it down to my shop here. Uh, outfitting the inside of it. The, um, uh, the graphics were put on uh, a few weeks ago. Um, I then have a buddy that does uh, ceramic coating, so the tra trailer was ceramic coated. Uh, just helps keep uh, a little bit um, nicer. So a couple things I learned from prior trailers, um, just kind of starting at the front here. Spare tire, I put that outside uh, the trailer so it doesn't take up room inside. Um, this trailer, I went up to the 5,200 pound axles and, um, these are torsion axles, not the spring axles. I haul both an RG55 and RG80 and the RG80 was probably a little bit, um, on the heavy side for that other trailer. So what this dealer does or what this manufacturer does, it's United, um, out of Indiana on the 5,200 pound axles, they put the eight lug wheels on there. Um, so those are actually from the 7,000 pound axles, but your benefit with that is that uh, you can get the 16 inch wheels. So those wheels are, um, uh, those are Goodyear, they're not uh, Chinese uh, import. Um, so that was a um, kind of a, um, a, a pretty big improvement here. So, um, and then kind of going inside here. Um, so all my trailers that I buy, my enclosed trailers, um, E-Track in the floor, three rows in the floor. These are attached to the frame, so they're pretty solid. All trimmed out in aluminum. And then two rows uh, in, the, um, in the wall. So kind of going around to the back here, uh, the ramp door. This ramp door is rated for 4,000 pounds. Uh, so that's an improvement over my last trailer. It was for 3,000. And the um, RG80 is... Uh, 3,200 pounds. The other thing that I do, um, some guys do this differently. I actually um, have some sheet steel cut up and I spray bed liner on it um, for a non-slip traction. And the other thing is then I can hose this out because I also put steel on the side walls there. So basically I can just take the hose or pressure washer and hose everything out. So in here, um, E-Track holders, got my rakes and shovels. Um, Pitchfork I use for chips, uh, debris shields. Over here, got some more debris shields. Um, some hooks yet that I haven't uh, used. Um, I added some LED lights. And I'll tell you, when uh, you're in this trailer with all the doors closed, it's just like daylight in here. It's, pr it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. And those are 20, 30 bucks for the four of them on, uh, uh, on Amazon. Uh, well, the other thing, um, there's a little gizmo I came up with, goes over my blade, my back blade. I put my pitchfork, rakes, and shovels in there. Um, and then this big one here, I've used my uh, spray paint. Um, sometimes I'm spray painting roots and whatnot. Um, so I put that on the, uh, on the back blade, that way I can take everything out uh, by myself. Uh, up in the front here, a couple of shelves. Big improvement, um, I added a 50 gallon fuel, uh, transfer tank uh, with a pump um, and it's powered off the seven pin connector of my truck. And then the other thing that I did, uh, a buddy of mine said, uh, hey, it'd really be nice to kind of have the uh, filler on the same side as your truck, which is where the filler is now. Um, I actually cut a hole in and installed a hatch door and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and then uh, my saws, I got the 36 inch on the shelf there, backpack blower, and I got my 20 and 16 inch saws on the bottom there, two cycle gas. Then up in the top, I got um, cutter teeth, bolts, all my tools. I got a sawzall, angle grinder, basically any tool I need to uh, get myself out of, uh, um, out of a situation. This trailer also, um, this thing is pretty heavy duty. Um, Every foot moving forward, there's a cross member. So every foot going across a trailer, there's a cross member and double I-beams along each side. So two I-beams welded together. So this thing is uh, really built. Uh, the other thing the manufacturer did for me 
was in this ramp door. They asked me the dimension of the uh, where the wheels are, and they actually put supports in the ramp. Um, so I'll be running over uh, steel bars, basically. So there will be no flex with this thing. And then uh, coming up to the front here, here's the door that I uh, installed. Um, and uh, so basically lockable, so you don't have to worry about uh, people um, messing with your, uh, your, your fuel or whatever. So, but um, yeah, so that's it. And I'm looking forward to uh, getting this thing out here uh, probably next week. You know, we're supposed to get some snow here in Wisconsin uh, this week. And um, so that's it. If you got any, um, any questions, uh, let me know. But um, hopefully this trailer uh, will last me a long time. The other one I've had three years. It's still in really good shape. But I just decided I wanted to up my game a little bit. And also sets me up if I want to go with a little bit bigger grinder than what I have now. So from a weight capacity standpoint. That's all for now. You guys have a great day. Thanks.